conductor. Uh, I think you know conductor, right? Okay, a conductor is a substance which conducts electricity, but is not chemically changed during the conduction. Okay, for example, the uh, metal, copper, ions they can conduct electricity, but uh, when they conduct electricity chemically, they do not change. Yeah? Okay, iron does not change to uh, iron oxide or iron uh, chloride or what. Okay, so chemically they do not uh, they do not change when they conduct electricity. Yeah, so that is conductor. This conductor. Electrolytes. Eh? Electrolytes are compounds that can conduct electricity in molten or aqueous solutions. Uh, conductor. Conductor can conduct electricity in solid and in liquid. That's what conductor is. Eh? Conductor can conduct electricity in solid and liquid. Eh? But electrolyte can only conduct electricity in molten. Molten means liquid. Eh? Molten means liquid. If you have a solid, you heat it and it melts, then it becomes liquid. Eh? Other than molten, uh, electrolyte can conduct electricity in aqueous solution. Aqueous solution is the solutions of water. Solutions of water. For example, if you have a, if, if you have salt, eh, you add salt into water, and when the salt dissolves into water, then it becomes a aqueous solution. Aqueous solution is the solutions of water. Uh, so the electrolyte can conduct electricity in molten or aqueous solutions. Eh? And then some. Um, Examples of electrolytes are uh, acids, alkalis, salts that dissolve in water or so molten salts. Eh? All these are ionic substances. So to know whether a substance is electrolyte and, or not electrolytes, eh? first you need to check whether it's ionic compound or not. If it's ionic compound, then it's uh, electrolyte for sure. Okay. If it's ionic compound, for sure it's uh, electrolyte. If it's a non-ionic compound, then you, then you need to see whether it, uh, it will become acid or alkalized when dissolved in water. So if it dissolves in water to become acid and alkaline, then it's electrolytes. So remember, ionic compound, acid, and alkalizer uh, are electrolytes. But for the other covalent compound, which is not acid and alkalized, usually they are non-electrolyte. Okay, non-electrolyte. A non-electrolyte is a liquid which does not allow the passage of electricity, it means that a liquid cannot conduct electricity. Yeah? And uh, examples of non-electrolytes or weak electrolytes and uh, strong electrolytes uh, okay, is given here. Okay, now let's see this one. Liquid and aqueous solution as electrolyte. Yeah? So this, uh, this diagram explains why a liquid uh, and uh, aqueous, uh, aqueous solutions of an ionic compound uh, can act as a, an electrolyte. Now, electrolyte, as I told you just now, electrolyte, it can conduct electricity in liquid. Molten means liquid. Eh? Molten means liquid. Or in aqueous solution. Eh? But it cannot conduct electricity uh, in solid state. So let's see this example. Uh, this one uh, is the illustrations of uh, sodium chloride. Yeah? Sodium chloride. Uh, let me write here. Sodium chloride. Now in sodium chloride, there are sodium ion, which is a positive ion, and the chloride ion, which is a negative ion, right? So from this diagram, we can see that there are two types of ions, uh, the positive ion and the negative ions, okay? Here it shows that the positive ion is a sodium ion, and the negative ion is the uh, chloride ions. Now, in solid state, these ions... These ions are bonds together at a fixed position and they are not free to move. It carry charge, okay? It carry charge, but they are not free to move. If there is no charge move, then they cannot conduct electricity. Because electricity is a, is a flows of charge. Electricity is flows of charge. If the charge cannot move, then there's no electricity. And therefore they cannot conduct electricity in solid state. In solid state. But if we heat this uh, sodium chloride until a certain uh, temperature, okay, then it start melting. It will melt, and then so when it melts, it become a molten sodium chloride. In molten sodium chloride, from here we can see that sir, the ions, the ion can uh, uh, start, okay, move freely. If the ion can start move freely, then they can they can become a charge carrier, and uh, if there is uh, if there is uh, this uh, potential difference applied across these liquids, then this charge can move. 
this charge can move. So the positive ion can move to the negative terminal and the negative ion can move to the positive terminal and therefore they can conduct electricity. That is the difference between a solid, this is a sodium chloride and the liquid sodium chloride. Both of these solid and liquid sodium chlorides has ions. But the ions in solid state are not free to move, but the ions in liquid states uh, are free to move. And therefore, it can conduct electricity. Second, solutions of sodium chloride. If this uh, sodium chloride is added into water, uh, it's added into water. From here, we can see that uh, these molecules uh, are uh, this is a water molecule. So inside here, there's a lot of water molecules. So with this, a uh, sodium chloride is added into water. When it dissolve in water, uh, the ions... It's also uh, the bonds between the ion is, break, is, is broken and the ions become free to move. So when in uh, aqueous solutions, uh, the ion is free to move. Uh, and when the ion is free to move, then, uh, then it can conduct electricity. So that's why uh, in aqueous solutions, uh, okay, aqueous solutions of uh, this ionic compound can conduct electricity. So this explains uh, this explain why uh, this ionic compound can conduct electricity in uh, this uh, liquid and in aqueous solutions.